Here we're going to do an example of going between the metric and American system with uh, units of weight. So we have a couple equivalencies here, or approximate equivalencies that is, of pounds with kilograms and with ounces and grams. So the example says convert 750 grams into pounds. So we could go grams to kilograms to pounds according to the equivalencies we have or we could go grams to ounces to pounds now again they're the same number of steps but remember to go between grams and kilograms that is just going to mean moving the decimal whereas going from grams to ounces right away is going to be a unit conversion factor and then ounces to pounds is going to be another conversion factor so if we choose the first option, we will uh, have only one conversion factor um, as opposed to two. So in general, if you're going from the metric system to the American system, you want to stay in the metric system as long as possible and only convert to the American system at the very end. So that's what we'll do here. So first of all, 750 grams okay is equal to how many kilograms well the grams spot in our chart is three spaces away from the kilogram spot and to get there you have to go back three places or to the left three places so we're going to send our decimal point left three places to turn 750 grams into 0 0.75 kilograms Okay, and now that we have 0.75 kilograms, now we can convert from kilograms to pounds. And so we know we need kilograms on bottom, pounds on top, so that the units that, uh, of kilograms cancel. And we look here, we could either use this first one or this second one, but because I want a one in the bottom, of my conversion factor, I'm going to use the second. So that's going to be 2.2 pounds up here. And so the only thing we have to do is multiply 2.2 and 0 0.75. So we've got 10 and 11 and 14 and 15. So, and that's going to be 1.650. So we have 1.65, and I can go ahead and put a zero there to show my accuracy level here, 1.650 pounds.